Hey there gang, Jack Allaire here, uh, just doing a video response to the Top 3 Tuesday uh, from NT1138 and Andrew's Game Display. Uh, now, the question of rarity is kind of weird to me, because I collect a lot of odd stuff, in case you haven't seen any of my pickup videos, I mean, PC games to PlayStation games, just to random stuff that I find. Now, going through, I didn't really have anything that was really rare and useful. So most of the stuff that I'm gonna throw at you, at least for these top three, are mostly useless, which is kind of odd. Now, uh, start off the one of the rarest things, at least as far as I'm concerned, that I have, uh, and that they still work, are uh, wrestle wrestling tip VHS tapes. Now, it turns out Coliseum teamed up with Acclaim a long time ago to put these out. Now, Coliseum Video, in case you've never heard of them, that's because they're uh, not really around anymore. Or if they are, they really don't do much. But they actually teamed up to release uh, guide videos that you could buy so that you could take them home and pop it in your VCR and watch it there rather than read some stupid book. So, that's number three. Now, number two, not... By all rights, shouldn't be rare, but they seem to be. Because I haven't seen any other than the ones that I have. I did a quick search, and I couldn't find too terribly many online. I don't know if it's just because everybody's using them as coasters, or if they're actually legitimately rare now. Now, what I'm talking about are these, which are PlayStation demo discs that came from Pizza Hut. Now, in, I know for those of you who are uh, somewhat modern to this generation, but the whole purpose of a demo used to be that a company would give it to you so that you would play it, like their game, and then buy it. Now, things have changed a little bit, and that really doesn't happen, but these are were from Pizza Hut, and they've got a bunch of different games on them, basically advertising the PlayStation 3, and they're actually really cool. I've seen a few videos of them. I really should do a review of them. I'm sorry. I'll get to that eventually. So, so far we've got two kind of outdated things. The last one is... The game wasn't very popular to begin with. It didn't really do that well. It just got shut down, so some of you may know what I'm talking about. But this is EverQuest Online Adventures. Now, if you notice, this is also not for resale and is the public beta. Now, I beta tested a lot of games in my day, and that's one of the reasons that I have this, and I keep it around, because it's just kind of a nice reminder, shortly after this, a lot of the betas went digital. So you would get a beta key, you would download the beta, and then when the beta was gone, it would essentially no longer connect. But this is one of the last beta discs that I have, which is really cool. So those are the three most rare things, my opinion, and a little bit of research that I did, because most of my stuff's pretty standard. Uh, I guess my top loader NES and my copy of Warsong on the Genesis would run in there somewhere, but those I've seen, those I can acquire. Most of these other things, I don't see so much. I don't know, like I said, if they're just stuffed in somebody's closet gathering dust, but I don't see them that often, so they're rare to me. Thank you very much for the question, it was a great one, and had took me kind of delving through my collection, so it was a lot of fun. As always, play on!